scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Let's examine the verses that have served as a basis. Let me teach you something up front. It doesn't matter what you hear from God or hear from the Spirit. You must have a scripture that validates and verifies it. Otherwise, no matter how accurate it is, it is not worthy of your believing. Is that true? That you heard from God does not mean you just carry a word and give people there must be a scriptural reference the bible is a compendium of god's character it reveals to us how god works are we together now you may not directly find a verse that talks about everything but you can find a verse that agrees with this that this is consistent it is the way god will behave are we together now so when we give scriptures this is not just some kind of debate no it is that our faith will not rest on the wisdom of men. You can believe that this is a year of signs and wonders just because you respect the man that said he had God. But I'm switching you from much more than just believing in my hearing God to believing the integrity of God's word. Because it is the word that will cause God to be committed in your life. Hallelujah. Psalm 77, please. Four scriptures very quickly psalm 77 and verse 14 to 15 i hope the media is ready for us psalm 77 and verse 14 to 15. psalm 77 verse 14 and 15. it's projected can we read together one to read thou art the god that doest wonders Thou hast declared thy strength among thy people. Uh -huh. Thou hast with thine arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The Bible says that God is the doer of wonders. Thou art the God that doeth wonders, not speaketh wonders, not suggested. It is an office in God. Among the many things he is, there is a name. That he is the God that can do wonders. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 20 to 22. If we can have that in Amplified, that will be fine. Very powerful scripture. When I found this scripture, it blessed me in no small way. And I hope that it will bless you. Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 20 to 22. Amplified. It says, who wrought signs and wonders? Let's read together. Uh -huh. In the land of Egypt. And even to this day continues to do so. Both in Israel and among other men. And made for yourself a name as it is this day. 
you go ahead uh-huh israel out of the land of egypt with what signs and wonders with a strong hand and outstretched arm and with great terror 22 and you gave them this land which you swore to their fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey not only is he a god that does wonders that he can deliver men through signs and wonders and in case you know i like the way the bible puts it because many people will look at this as a historical book and say oh god did it before but he says he continues to do so not just in ancient israel but even among his people exodus chapter 15 blessed be the name of the lord And verse 11 Exodus 15 verse 11 we sing it in hymns we sing it in our praise worship songs but a few people have taken out time to look at the revelation that is in this verse let's read it together one to read who is like unto thee O Lord among the gods who is like unto thee you are glorious in holiness you are fearful in praises doing not did wonders doing doing is something you have not stopped you've made up your mind to continue doing it doing who is like unto you some people did wonders before but they died and it stopped it says you are not only glorious in holiness you are not only fearful in praises that you are doing wonders one last scripture acts chapter 5 and verse 12 to 16 Acts chapter 5 and verse 12 to 16. Acts chapter 5 and verse 12 to 16. Want to read? And by the hand of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people, and they were all in one accord in Solomon's porch. We're reading to verse 16. And of the rest, does no man join himself to them? But the people magnified them and believers were the more added to the lord uh-huh and laid them on beds and couches that at least the shadow of peter passing the last verse bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed how many everyone the sign is not the healing the sign is everyone the healing was not commonplace but this dimension that every single one comes with a challenge and every single one returns this one is more than a healing it is a sign it is a message are we together now write this down what are signs and wonders very quickly just to give us um, a little foundation signs and wonders are supernatural manifestations of God's power really they are they are miracle signs and wonders supernatural manifestations of God's power by which God demonstrates his ability to save to deliver to preserve and to prosper his people I'll take it again signs and wonders are supernatural manifestations of God's power by which he God demonstrates his ability to save to deliver to preserve and to prosper his people manifestations of God's power 
that are statements they demonstrate his ability they validate his ability to save to heal to preserve to prosper his people another definition signs and wonders are tokens or representations of the omnipotence of God signs and wonders are tokens a token is a representation they are representations of the omnipotence the almightiness all powerfulness of God they are manifestations of God's power they are tokens or representations of his omnipotence now all through scripture when you read down from Genesis to Revelations you see that the Bible is full of the strange acts of God signs and wonders mighty works of God right from Genesis down to Revelations the Bible is full of God doing mighty things in and among his people and through his people to the earth the subject of signs and wonders is not a subject that should be strange to believers because Christianity in itself was founded upon this mystery of signs and wonders hallelujah I missed one more definition let me add to you if you care signs and wonders are pointers to a dimension of God that he wants the world and the saints to experience signs and wonders are pointers to a dimension of God that he wants the world and the saints to experience they are pointers to a dimension of God that he wants the world and the saints to experience very very powerful like I said earlier on the Bible is full of signs and wonders the way God made man in Genesis the way God made the plants the mystery that happened in Laban's house with Jacob Joshua commanding the sun to stand still the walls of Jericho the parting of the Red Sea the parting of the Jordan all kinds of miracles that happen in the Bible the miraculous outstretched arm of God to restore the economy of a nation overnight mighty things the Bible records that God did in his people and through his people there are two Greek words that I want us to just work with very quickly the Bible is an interplay of a lot of Greek words and in the New Testament particularly there are two Greek words that are translated signs and wonders the first is the word semion s-e-m-e-i-o-n 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 it literally means a sign an evidence of a divine commission the word semion is a greek word it means an evidence of a divine commission an attestation of a divine message The word semion that is translated sign refers to miracles by which God authenticates the men sent by him and the missions directed by him give us Acts chapter 16 and verse 17 to 18 we find an expression there Jesus himself was speaking about the church Acts chapter 16 verse 17 and 18 oh, did I say Acts? I'm sorry Mark Mark 16 I beg your pardon mark 16 wonders miracles by which God authenticates men and missions not just men the man can be sent by God but the assignment he's embarking on is not by God so God would defend the man and leave the assignment alone it matters that both the man and mission are sent by God 
He says, and this sign shall follow them that believe. And these signs, and these signs, and these signs. He would have said, and these miracles. The signs are miracles. But they have messages attached to them. And the messages have to be discerned. They are pointers. He says, this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. 18. They shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover the bible says these things are not just miracles they are signs they authenticate among other things that god is with that individual are we together now a man can fake some of them but whoever has all of them working in him is a validation there are aspects of these signs that cannot be faked. You see, let me tell you something with Satan. The operation of Satan is such that he can take part of a truth and use it to destroy. But the test is the ability to convey the whole counsel of God, not part of it. Are we together now? When Satan came and met Eve, what he said was not entirely a lie it was truth that was aberrated when he came and met jesus it was not a lie but there was a motif behind it an attempt to destroy jesus so he says when you see all these signs happen to an individual you can fake tongues you can fake healing the sick but when a viper beats you you see that one that that one is not you can't pretend that one you can act drama praying in tongues you can't act drama of snake biting you and then nothing happens and you see the serpent is talking about here is first physical then prophetic are we together yes first physical he says that i give you authority to tread upon snakes and scorpions not a little scorpion you don't need all that to kill a scorpion and carry a shoe and kill it but he's talking about scorpion wicked demonic entities that plague the lives of people per second are we together it is possible these are the same mysteries that the psalmist said they are arrows that fly by day that a man can be moving and something can make contact with your spirit man but there is an immunity that have been built like paul they looked at him they said you have seen against the gods let's watch after a while when they saw nothing they said this guy you are not you are a god you are not normal that's a sign there is a message conveyed in it that there are bodies that are terrestrial but there are also other bodies that are celestial and that even among the stars one differed from another in glory signs the second word is the word that is called terata t-e-a-r-t-a t-e-a-r-t-a that's the word that is translated wonders terata t-e-a-r-t-a is the word that the bible translates in english in the new testament as wonders and let me tell you what it means it literally means wonder causing events wonder causing events no wonder bishop Oedeko, um, um, says wonder is what makes you wonder it really is the meaning that's the definition wonder causing events events that are so notable your pride cannot stand it you know there are things that happen and people assume i've seen this one before a wonder is what will compel you to react and respond over that situation there is a way god blesses you that you claim oh god i just give you thanks casually you've done this before just like it came yesterday but there is a way god blesses you that you become too grateful to keep quiet is that true wonder causing events that produce astonishment in the beholder wonder causing events that produce astonishment in the believer mark chapter 5 and verse 40 to 42 please give it to us 
Mark chapter 5 and verse 40 to 42. Wonder causing events that cause astonishment. And they laughed at him to scorn. This is Jesus about to walk not just a miracle but a wonder. The Bible says they laughed at him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he taken the father and the mother of the damsel that were with him and entered in where the damsel was lying. We are reading to 42. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitha kumi, which being interpreted, damsel, I say unto you, arise. 42. And straightway the damsel arose. Remember they were laughing before that time and walked and she was of the age of 12 years and they were all astonished some versions say with great wonder they were astonished with a great astonishment a wonder was released in heaven and the bible says there was silence for 30 minutes because of the gravity and the magnitude there are things that God is going to be doing in our lives, brothers and sisters, that people will come and stand here and not be able to testify. And, and listen, nobody will drive them because the silence is the testimony. That someone will stand and say, I, I have always known God would do this, but not in this dimension. When God wants to give a wonder, he waits till your enemies gather. He won't do it in their absence. He allows them to gather. And while they are talking and say Jesus died, they see the resurrected Jesus. They are talking about his death and he has risen. No blood in his body but still walking. Wonder. Are we together? It's not his being alive. He's been alive without blood. Say wonder. He said touch me bring bread let me eat but the bible said the life of the flesh is in the blood so how are you living what are you breathing do you have lungs he said i'm giving you another life as my father has sent me that there is a possibility that you are immune to certain things if jesus did it in heaven will understand in this territory i believe the word of god oh. wonder events wonder god has already done great things koinonia is a family that we have seen humbling dimensions of his wonder but brothers and sisters you are not ready for what god is about to do believe me you are not ready for what god is about to do we have seen god gather crowds without posters it's not publicity it's a wonder it's a wonder there is no single hand bill there is no single poster to put in your car it's a mystery my brother i have read church history i have read revivals men are not idiots there is a force that draws them we have seen the wonders of god Seventy-one thousand followers on facebook not being on air one with no video released is a wonder the message is going everywhere regardless of people having self-appointed evangelists running around these messages they have never been here but they move from nation to nation it's not a miracle it's a wonder there are statements in them i am the god who can do as i please are we together wonder causing events that produce astonishment astonishment mark chapter 7 verse 37 let's hurry up mark chapter 7 and verse 37 mark 7 37 the bible says and they were beyond measure astonished saying he had done all things well how many things let me tell you when every area of your life goes well it's a wonder because it's not supposed to be the story of people naman's situation is how men live there must be something in their life that has a k-leg but my god is saying in this season there's something i'm i'm leaving the ones i have touched and say where is the area in your life that mocks me i want to make a statement in your life they said he had done all things well 
he maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak he has done all things well done all things well oh we are wealthy but no child when the god of wonders shows up look at what the prophet said when the prophet was speaking to the shunammite woman he said watch what is wrong i know the ones that are right let's let's focus on where there is an issue do you want me to talk to the governor he said no no i live among my people and the servant this son he said this woman is a great woman however there is an issue in her life and the prophet said by this time according to the time of life i program a possibility in your life that you will carry a child the god of wonders not just the god of miracles if you don't believe the god of wonders get said to be part of this weeping holocaust that is humbling the pride of people there is a god of wonders there is a god of wonders let me tell you science will fail men in this season the theories that have been built for decades that attempt to compete with god will bring people to their knees but there are people that god will arise on their case and you will say i have always known god can bless that what god will do in your life will make somebody come and apologize and say i i am sorry i didn't believe in you let me confess i is I, I know you were part of koinonia but if they told me this what god will do in your life i won't believe it he said i will walk a walk in your days that if you were told you will not believe listen brothers and sisters let me borrow the words of bishop david Oyedepo. god is changing people's levels in a way and a dimension that will surprise you it's true it's true it's true it's not a lie this is what god can do what is the purpose of signs and wonders why do we need them so much so that god would declare that a whole year is dedicated to experiencing that dimension of him what is the purpose of signs and wonders i want you to know that signs and wonders have a specific purpose in kingdom advancement there is a role that only signs and wonders can play in kingdom advance a few of them number one to believers and to unbelievers i'm going to tell you now to those who believe who already know that jesus is alive and they have tasted of his power and his unfailing love signs and wonders become to them a consolation of their faith in god are we together the purpose of signs and wonders there are many preachers that mock believers for looking for signs and wonders and they say believers should be the proof producers i agree but the fact that you are a proof producer does not mean you should not be a benefactor no matter what dimension you get to in god god still remains a god of signs and wonders to those whose hearts are open there needs to be a consolation to your christian experience they kept seeing the miracles of Jesus in the nation of Israel. And I thought he would say, I've shown you enough. But every time, the Bible says his messes are new every morning. Why wouldn't he say, think about yesterday's own? Signs and wonders, consolations to my faith. That I believed God. I trusted him to move in this dimension. And he arose in majesty. And made a name for himself through my life. That's a sign and a wonder. The signs and wonders are produced on earth by God through believers. But they are not just for unbelievers. Believers also, like the, the husband man being the first partaker. Believers are not only producers of signs and wonders. They are also benefactors of the same. To unbelievers what is the purpose of signs and wonders it is the physical expression of God's power God's love and God's goodness creating convictions in them and ultimately leading them to Jesus I'll take it again 
to unbelievers what is the purpose of signs and wonders it is the physical expression of god's power love and goodness creating convictions in them and ultimately leading them to jesus unbelievers need a manifestation of signs and wonders from and by god through believers first in their lives and then through them to affect unbelievers why because they need to be convicted and they need to come to jesus now please look up signs and wonders in themselves do not produce transformation only the word of god in partnership with the holy spirit can produce conviction because when you read in the gospels they saw all kinds of miracles yet when jesus resurrected the bible says some doubted even among his disciples they saw the dead rise they multiplied loaves some of them were the ones who packed the bread yet they ran away so signs and wonders in themselves now this is the balance signs and wonders in themselves do not produce transformation if all a believer sees is signs and wonders you get a job you get a new promotion god opens up a door for you you step into unusual levels of the anointing as powerful as that is there are people that will still not be transformed by it however however signs and wonders support your journey to creating convictions when you watch signs and wonders at work they probe your convictions and all the insult in the name of god and insult of the body of christ all of a sudden signs and wonders bring you to a point as a believer where your convictions are strengthened and as an unbeliever creates in you the need to surrender your heart to jesus write this down all manifestations of signs and wonders must lead to the harvest of souls and the establishment of men and women in the things of god all manifestations of signs and wonders genuine manifestations of signs and wonders they must lead people it must lead to a harvest of souls and it must establish people in christ no matter what happens in your life if it does not lead to these two things then it is profitless the message behind signs and wonders is that they are it is a system of attraction much more than a statement god is making through it he's drawing the lost to himself and he's keeping the saints to be established in him hallelujah when people go to a harbor list number one they are not committed to the harbor list they go there to see signs they sit down and say mr man i have a problem do something for me and all of a sudden a chicken appears from the air and he holds it and keeps it down what do we call that that's not a discussion it's a sign and by that sign the two people were discussing whether they made a mistake coming to this harbor list and all of a sudden by that manifestation they find grounds to convince themselves that we're in the right place is that true so when someone comes for koinonia and while he's hearing the word he's wondering well i've had this thing before is this what is going to give us all of this thing what is all this and all of a sudden while he's talking a vision is open for him and he's seeing his barren wife with twins he keeps quiet by himself and he said continue the statement he said no I saw something that has challenged me it's amazing that when believers gather like this you would think everybody believes what you believe until God grants you access to their minds there are people who before they come for koinonia they tell God certain things and say Lord you better give me a sign I've been I've, I've hated every man of God and I hope that I won't hate this one too and while they are sitting down right from opening prayer fire on the mountain some the sign is that they find themselves on the floor ah what happened they get up and they are trying to be arrogant and then it happens again then it happens the third time 
then they give up and lie down there and god says this is holy ground they get up quietly now it's not that god wants to just throw people is that to that person it happened before his unbelieving father or mother and then the guy goes back the next time he sees people falling around he says don't insult everybody there are exceptions god is still mighty he can make it happen signs i remember i think we were in joss maybe this was 2016 or thereabout when joss i was ministering in one of the polytechnics and while I was ministering, you know, the power of God, people were getting healed, getting saved, getting delivered. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me and said, there are a number of people here who are doubting if this thing is really working. And those people themselves are not feeling fine. So I want to heal them now. You see, that's no longer a miracle. That is a sign. And then the Lord said, announce it first before I heal them. And I said, there are people here who are doubting this thing and it may not be your fault you came from a background where it's a norm to doubt everything that is supernatural and the lord is healing you now and there was a gentleman who got healed i can't remember what he got healed from very spectacular miracle and then when he came to the front he said honestly honestly let me confess if not that this thing has happened to me now i will go back believing that these men play you know games and all of that signs signs is is good to clap for somebody but when it, the miracle comes to your own house it be, he said that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have handled this is the dimension i'm trusting that god will take us to because some of the things we teach it has not happened to some of us so you don't hate it but you don't exactly believe it when we say favor you don't hate it but you don't exactly believe it the anointing you don't hate it but you don't exactly believe it but when it happens through your hands or to your life you don't care who doesn't believe you again it's a conviction signs and wonders are important because according to scriptures i wrote down a few things here they have always been god's strategy an instrument of deliverance from oppression and slavery every time god's people are in any kind of oppression or slavery the instruments that god uses to bring the people out of it it's called signs and wonders one of our texts jeremiah 32 from verse 21 to 22 it says thou broughtest them out of egypt by signs and wonders signs and wonders are instruments of deliverance number two signs and wonders are validations to the power the might and the lordship of jesus christ signs and wonders are validations to the power the might and the lordship of jesus christ give us acts chapter 2 verse 22 and verse 36 let's look at it quickly acts chapter 2 verse 22 and verse 36 thank you jesus ye men of israel hear these words jesus of nazareth a man approved of god by what Help me read on a man approved of god by miracles and wonders and signs which god did by him in the midst of you as ye yourselves know so jesus a man approved of god signs wonders miracles verse 36 it says therefore let all the house of israel know assuredly that God had made that same Jesus that was approved with signs and wonders whom he have crucified both Lord and Christ signs and wonders validate the Lordship of Christ they validate the Lordship of Christ the Bible says listen carefully it says that
the kingdom of God is not in meat and drink it doesn't mean you don't eat and drink in God's kingdom but it's not in meat and drink but in righteousness peace joy in the Holy Ghost is that true and then oh I, I'm not sure that's the scripture I um, what's the scripture the demonstration thank you the demonstration of quotes that scripture for me that your faith will not be in the wisdom of men many of you don't know how to quote scriptures you are looking at me and hoping those in front will help you quote it you better learn scriptures <laughs> see how clueless some people are I don't even I don't have an idea of I just know that Jesus is Lord that's bad that's bad for a believer don't, don't do that kind of less fair Christianity whilst it is not the quoting of the scripture that releases power but it gives the Holy Spirit the tools with which to walk in you hallelujah yes no the, the kingdom of God is not in words but in power demonstration of power oh that's it God bless you and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in the demonstration of the spirit and of power and then it says that your faith am I right that's yes should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God let me tell you something there's too much talk in the body of Christ there needs to be validations of these claims otherwise a time will come when they will just classify us as noisemakers noisemakers that we say God can heal God can bless God can prosper Elijah called the people up to Mount Carmel and said look look we've been talking for a very long time the God that answers by fire let him be God very simple if Baal be God let him prove himself if the God of heaven be God let him prove himself you start and the people gathered round and danced and caught themselves till evening and Elijah mocked them he said shout loud I'm sure he's sleeping and when it was time he brought 12 stones and put water and did all of that and called on heaven and God came the Bible says the fire came licked the sacrifice licked the water and everything and it was demonstrated as a sign in Israel that the God of heaven was and is God indeed there are people we need to silence not by argument and debate but by a strange manifestation of the hand of God in our life that someone looks at you and says, all these koinonia people is because you are jobless then God gives you a job that is the prayer point of someone for 10 years and you become committed with it and God says it's not because they are jobless it's because they love me are we together are you ready for these dimensions of God this year three keys to commanding signs and wonders this is very important this is where your your own role comes in there must be a part that shows you your own contribution three keys number one the first key if you want to truly experience and command signs and wonders is intimacy with God the first key non-negotiable intimacy with God through prayers through the study of the word and through worship listen during my retreat the Lord spoke to me and said that believers must restore the altar of worship we have restored the altar of prayer but we have not restored the altar of personal worship very few believers understand the mystery and the power of prayer and we preachers are the ones who have caused it we have made it look like if you are praying and I'm worshiping and I can't hear any noise from your own end you are wasting God's time so we we pride ourselves in the dissipation of energy for a long time to mean that that is necessarily a sign of making spiritual contact no sir the ministry of personal worship in church we praise God in church we worship God but most people have been robbed of the revelation of intimacy through worship there is intimacy through prayer there is intimacy through encounter with the word but there is intimacy through worship 
there is no one man on earth that works mightily under the influence of the anointing that does not understand the mystery of the altar of worship intimacy with God please hear me God is not a magician this is the year you must engage in being close to God this Christianity of today I am close to God tomorrow I'm not serious with God I say God is not you know that I don't have a job you must make up your mind this year that Lord it is me and you not just me and your power alone intimacy with God there are people who have been in church maybe some koinonia for years they don't know God they don't know anything about God where are you going at they go church and when you finish where are you coming from from service say you mean you're a worker in that church that's all we join honestly at least they do have small small that statement is an ungodly statement this is the year you will bury that statement in the name of Jesus Christ the average believer listen to me the average believer should be on fire for God not for the purpose of ministry for your own good let me tell you the truth the deeper and thicker the darkness the more you must define where you stand with God there is no vagueness no you know they have this sarcasm towards believers that the more we are outspoken about our love for God the more we fail in life is that true so this becomes the basis for being ashamed when they are talking of poor people they say this this poor guy who loves God when they are talking about certain so many of us don't want to show our zeal and passion we love God but when you come where there are other people you just say ah, me, I don't overdo God knows I do my thing even God knows that and then we find all kinds of scriptures in the Bible that says don't know be over righteous and say prove this that some of those things are, are proofs of people who don't want to know God is that true if I come to Pastor Alpha's house listen there are certain rooms in that house I will never have access to until I get to a depth of relationship that qualifies me to enter there. Is that true? I may sit in the parlor there forever, but there are times that I may know him and we may want to discuss something very secret. How many of you have seen parents or loved ones or some of you when you want to discuss some serious issues? You just, out of five people, you call only one. And then the person enters and you even in the bedroom you sit at the side that the window is outside and you are discussing critical matters the secret things of the Lord is with them that fear him it's not just being afraid priority please let me drum it brothers and sisters that if you want to experience signs and wonders that will last you must work on your relationship with Jesus Christ. I don't doubt that many of us are born again. But I don't see the priority of the kingdom. When you are intimate with God, it will show. You've not, you read your Bible Friday to Friday. You are not intimate with God. Don't say it does not matter. Prayer until you hear something on your zinc. Then you stand up. Play one koinonian message. Altar of prayer. And back it up with one fearful tongues for 10 minutes and lie down. You are not walking in faith. He spake a parable, Luke 18, verse 1, to the end that men ought always, always, always to pray. Listen, this year, I know the kind of people Satan is looking for lukewarm and careless Christians to, to take like a prey and destroy their lives take it from me do you know the lord gave me a revelation during my retreat that surprised me he said son there are many people i wanted to bless but that they their prayer life cannot sustain the attack that will come on account of that level of blessing so i help them by withholding it listen this is true that there are 
every dimension of glory comes with a dimension of attack and much more than your gift God looks at your spiritual life if I give this guy 10 million naira and the spirits that eat up people comes does he have the capacity to sustain it it's not the issue of God give me God give me the Bible says God will never allow any temptation to be greater than us and part of the way is withholding certain blessings when God told me that thing I started praying for myself first I said only God knows what dimension I would have entered that God withheld because my spiritual life had not gotten to that level listen if you are lukewarm be sure of experiencing triumph and remaining there alone but if it is signs and wonders please upgrade your passion upgrade your zest for God not come to the house of God today come two months later when there is problem no no the first price are we blessed intimacy with God genuine intimacy create a routine of prayer create a routine of studying the word create a routine of worship those of you that God has blessed with televisions turn them into preachers not entertainment platforms am I am I against watching films you, you know my position I'm, I don't I'm not against it you can watch your movie whether Western or Nigerian or whatever but let me tell you the truth if you really want to press for signs and wonders you better get a flash drive and put messages and worship songs slot it at the back of your TV that sometimes you can be in your room or your house or wherever and let that sound of worship just arise you are you are creating a climate for God this is the price for signs and wonders hallelujah if in your group of friends you are the most spiritual it's a sign something is wrong with you because the day your spiritual life is down and you have no one to pick you are you hearing what i'm saying yes. listen especially for those of us in ministry this year schedule a strong backup system a strong backup system that while you preach and dispense the word of god there must be a system not just during retreat not just during retreat it must be a daily system that replenishes you otherwise you may not make the journey in the level of strength that you want is God speaking to us intimacy with God does intimacy with God pay my goodness <laughs> my goodness Acts chapter 4 verse 13 to 14 there are people who gave up their intimacy with God to look for money. There are people who gave up their intimacy with God to look for power. There are people who gave up their intimacy with God to look for fame. No, sir. Anything his presence cannot give you is not available. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter, listen, and John, and perceived that they were unlearned, and ignorant men they marveled because ignorant and unlearned people should not be commanding that kind of result it says and they took knowledge of them what was their secret that they had been with that's the secret to their boldness they said it's true we didn't have the opportunity to be educated we cannot brag on education but i have been with him listen when you truly are with him it will show in your life you don't have to say see me no there is an aura there is a fragrance that his presence carries may you carry that presence this year listen i can know in a second that a man is intimate with god it's not by prayer it's not by having a husky voice there is a presence like a perfume it's a signature of the secret place I can hear you speak and I know that this is not your revelation you just read something online and you are preaching I can hear you speak and I know that mm -mm, this guy you may even work miracles but brothers and sisters covet presence covet presence covet presence 
has nothing to do with being a preacher covets the presence of God consuming fire sweet perfume his awesome presence fills my life consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome presence fills this place you are transacting business but there is such a presence a man has been oppressed cannot sleep in the night but because you carry a heavy dimension of the presence that person will walk away and lie down and find out that that night he slept with no oppression you didn't pray you introduced an atmosphere covert presence as a man of god you don't carry presence you are not a preacher you are not a preacher a preacher is not just one who announces a preacher is one who brings his climate his atmosphere into a place are we together please let me tell you this take it from me if you want god to use you please i can beg you don't give up the presence of god for anything in your life don't give up the presence of god not for money not for titles pray and say lord grant me the grace to be addicted to your presence lift your voice and pray one minute lord i want to be addicted to your presence is where I find strength it's where I find courage <laughs> your presence my place of refuge my place of ideas that's where I receive inspiration that's where I experience the ministry of the comforter in your presence that's where I receive strength that's where I receive strategies hallelujah some of the ideas you see by God's grace that we run this ministry with came in the secret place, the presence. Listen, let me teach you something about having time with God. I think it is in my view. There are times learn to be alone. Some of us, our lives are too busy to know God. Learn to walk around in your room alone. You know the way you are talking with somebody. I do that a lot. I'm just walking and talking Lord you know the other day we we're talking about this thank you Jesus I can be walking like that for hours I'm not necessarily praying like generating energy there are times for that but this is a love affair I'm talking with God thank you Jesus and sometimes that mighty presence comes sometimes I cannot even stand it is the effulgence of that presence that we bring to the stage there are many presenceless preachers, presenceless prayer coordinators, revelation hackers who pack revelation after revelation, couple it together and hope that it will give power. God is not a herbalist. Please look, seek his presence. Without God's presence, what do I have to offer you? Because you see, it's not everything you teach people that will be new it is the presence that makes it fresh presence you want signs and wonders in your life please make out time for god's presence i want you to identify the things that represent distractions in your life and deal with them this year they may not be bad but they are weights some of us is noise making noise making is what has evicted the presence of god in your life talkativeness choo, 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 choo. take that time to the secret place some of us need to coordinate our mornings properly some of us is careless time you're a young man you wake up 11 o'clock every day you won't know god my brother you have missed a rich pie of the day to know god Many of us never practice personal vigils. You can do church vigils and claim to. 
a personal when you are alone with God. Oh. The excellency and the richness and the freshness of power that is gotten in his presence. You are there spending time with God and God is winning battles for you. You finish from that presence and come out and you meet testimonies lined up like an assembly. Testimony after testimony. Many of us don't know how to win battles. When men insult you, you have nowhere to run to. Create similitudes of altars, not by building monuments, but find exact locations. I've taught you the law of consistency. Don't meet with God just anywhere. You wouldn't know him that way. No. God is obsessed with location. Carve out a place that becomes your place with you and God. If you don't have access to a house or a room, why don't you find a location somewhere? Let's, let's be honest with ourselves and be serious and make this thing work this year. Seek his face. And the effulgence of his glory will rub off on you. And my brother, my sister, your life will be a compendium of signs and wonders. Number two. The second key to commanding signs and wonders is faith. 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 What is faith? Conviction plus obedience. Faith is not conviction alone. That's believing. Faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who God is and what his word has said. You want to experience signs and wonders? You must believe God this year. John 11 verse 40. John 11 and verse 40. John 11 and verse 40. Signs and wonders. Let's read it together. One to read. Jesus said unto her, uh -huh, Say it I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou should see the glory of God the glory of God are for those who believe God you must work on your conviction the foundation of Bible faith is understanding it is understanding that creates conviction you need faith to command signs and wonders you need to believe in God listen listen look at me many believers don't get miracles in their lives because we live in a society where cynicism sells, where doubt sells. Is that true? We are always thinking, what if it's a lie? What if it never happened? What if this person were lying? You better come to a point this way where you believe that everything God says he would do, he will do. Is that true? So if we say God is going to bless Sam, come Sam that God is going to bless you is up to you to choose to believe it or just say amen and then go back after koinonia and talk as if you don't know Jesus Christ is that not what people do after service they jump and shout and you see them praying then they start laughing at themselves when they are going back home as if they were acting bros I saw you praying as if that prayer is acting and then the person feels ashamed for being serious with the prayer why are we like this? We are in church. We hear the word and we believe it. We get back home and talk rubbish and nonsense, ungodly things. Did you hear that lady's testimony? The way I was looking at her eyes, it's as if she was lying. What is your business? If she was lying, release your faith and say, I can get the truth of that testimony. Instead of saying it cannot happen. I believe God to move this ministry to a new dimension. I believe God to move my life to a new dimension. The mockers will always bury their head while God keeps performing signs on those who believe. The Bible says, Blessed is she that believes. For unto her, not unto them, unto her. This is a personal affair. There shall be a performance of those things that were spoken. I believe it. I believe it. That Lord if you are going to bless me if you want to lift up my life and change my story i stand with you believing 
like Abraham the devil will come in with his rubbish as usual and say look I hope you know that there are many people who are being owed salary and arrears how do you want to build the house this year and then a scripture fires out of you they got not the land in possession by their own hands neither did their sword save them are you hearing what I'm saying yes you look at yourself oh I'm 40 years will any man really like me and God says just wait and let me surprise you and God will bring a brother as if he was charmed and just come and say sister let's go and see your parents say if you are playing don't play say, well, how can I be playing do I look like I'm playing let's let's go and see your parents and while the rest are laughing at you in three months you are settled and you keep watching their lives and they say ah this bad girl and God says never call unclean what I have called clean while you are there talking nonsense God is lifting people hallelujah brothers and sisters there are people today you are paying their transport that they will be the one sponsoring people by the end of this year as young people I'm not talking of some visions in 10 years it is unto you in this kingdom not according to the preachers words according to your faith I believe God I believe God I believe you I believe you so you have an assignment to build your faith faith does not grow by itself please listen you don't grow just by sitting down you eat correct you eat you don't ask the food which part of my body are you going to don't worry your own is continue having access to the food and you see that you are growing that's how your faith grows listen let me tell you this is the year I want to encourage you avoid naysayers avoid faith killers you finish believing God and you finish three days dry over an issue and you come and meet a brother and he laughs hey, open that in it let's look at you you said you are stupid this is what you are fasting about and they kill your faith we have been taught that there are some things God cannot do just believe God and then when you perish we can come and comfort you but not before listen I want you to enlarge your faith for big things this year don't just sit down and say God do this no Lord I believe you I believe you work on my faith I'm ready to keep bringing you the word of God that will keep building your faith there are so many things we are going to learn this year but that God will grant us grace to believe it hold on Mike listen please I want you those listening inside outside online let us stop double mindedness in church this is what I believe we call it church mind I don't know where that thing is, is in Bible then after you you come out of church we now have the secular satanic carnal and ungodly mind that has never worked why change your convictions it's better for me to know you don't even believe this aspect it will help me to encourage you than to join those who you are there you don't believe it but you are joining the group of people with convictions you will find out that you will never get the result say I receive grace to believe God say it again I receive grace to believe God and the key is to meditate on his word you don't meditate on newspapers and cynical statement online you don't meditate on gist we were having a discussion when I went home to see my parents maybe let me just add it a little and we we're discussing um, the need for God to help ladies in saloons saloon is one place that is a wonderful place for making hair but it is uh is is a is a chamber that can program unbelief now please with all due respect to hairstylists i love you please may god bring members to your saloon but let me tell you this let me tell you this let me tell you this listen this is the first service it's too early to be laughing anyhow this is the i'm establishing the word there are many people 
hmm, who expose themselves to atmospheres that are antichrist that is the real devil you should cast not just the one around in your village that has left sins atmospheres have been creating room for satan must you visit the friends if you don't have anything godly and serious to discuss must you visit them you can send them a text how are you it's been a while just to check up on you god bless you there are people on their way to church someone just holds them back and then they don't come the person has robbed you of an opportunity to learn say i will work on my faith sam if i gave you a property will you take care of the property will you take care of the documents if you saw someone coming to carry the documents what will you do you will stop the person the bible says guard your heart we are guarding land we are guarding gold we are guarding atm look you you guard your atm by getting a card for it you now put it inside a bag and the bible says guard your heart and that's the one you leave it carelessly guard your heart with all diligence we have guarded atm we have guarded land that we came and met and we we'll go and live we have guarded houses we have guarded the little tea and bread that are around and made noise we have guarded cars we built a garage for car and left your heart exposed you see the wisdom of that is of this earth that comes to naught please say i will guard my heart guarding your heart doesn't mean to fight people but to mark people who have a track record of killing your faith they just see you rejoicing and say why the joy say the joy of the lord is my strength say I, i'm a christian too you better be real that thing looks like an emotional sociological statement but the name is is a faith killer statement hallelujah thank you sam number three the last key you want to command signs and wonders this year practice praise and thanksgiving mm. thanksgiving everybody say thanksgiving I am learning many strange things about this dimension of God that is humbling me with all humility these are revelations that God has revealed to me but I am learning in fresh ways the power of praise and the power of thanksgiving and the power of living a thankful life thanksgiving and living a thankful life are two different things thanksgiving is an event you can dance in church carry your handkerchief and not be thankful i have a special teaching on thanksgiving a little teaser to it thanksgiving your communication of thanks must match the blessing given the goal of thanksgiving is to to create an impression in in the giver that you understand the gravity of the sacrifice involved in giving that gift there are times that saying thank you is not thanksgiving it's too small for that kind of result if i give you 10 naira you say thank you i give you ten thousand, you say thank you i give you hundred thousand, you say thank you i give you one million you say thank you i give you 10 million you say thank you from 100 naira to 1 million you are ungrateful that thank you was only valid for 10 naira you were supposed to make the other givings weightier in your communication of thanks so many people just say god thanks i forgot to tell you the other day look at how you saved me and god said that's the is that the way you cried is that how you cried did you just cry casually you cried as if your life will finish and i opened you a door and look how casual you are please practice a life not a moment of thanksgiving feel a major portion of your prayer with thanksgiving lord i thank you are you not the one who has delivered me from my enemies there are many who would have prayed that i didn't see this year but lord in their presence you have honored me lord i thank you lord i thank you for the other day i was coming and a bike almost hit my car i thank you 
And God says, you are doing this to me. He said, God, I've not even finished. Wait. He said, what about your needs? He said, God, I know you are faithful. Just allow me thank you. And God says, you don't need to ask again. Your thanksgiving has multiplied your result. Please learn to be thankful. It is something that I have embraced. Thanksgiving. Complaining and murmuring. All through scripture attracted the wrath of God. Not Satan. When people murmured before God, it was a sign of ingratitude. He punished them. God, you gave me bread. Wouldn't I have blue band there? And God would say, you are a wicked servant. I didn't just give you tea. I gave you bread. Just because there's no blue band, you are shouting as if you are, you are hungry. Say, God, will I continue to eat bread like that? Is it not you that said the part of the justice as a shining light? And God says, look at your ungrateful heart. What happens if I give you a bakery? It means you will leave me and say, God, <laughs> this was all what it was about. Now that I have a bakery, it's enough to feed me. Live a thankful life. Don't thank God generally. Be specific. Count your blessing. Name them not ten by ten, one by one. Lord, you gave me five children, no CS. Thank you. How oh, is it such a big thing? Lord, thank you. Lord, it was just day before yesterday. I didn't have food to eat. And today, I even had to fetch two tears and give someone. Because a stranger I did not know just said, you assigned him. Somebody will tell you, God sent me. You won't turn back to the God and say, thank you. You told the messenger, thank you. And God that sent the person, you left him like that. Till you have a need. Say, God, the other day, how did I it escape my mind? And God said, what was there? What was there that it escaped your mind? Thank him. He gives you 10 naira. Say, thank you. Make it a big deal. God, he said, all these dances for 10 naira. I said, yes, so. Lord, I'm dancing. Some of you are dancing not because you are truly grateful. You are dancing because you have been taught is a key to multiplication. So you really hate God. It's just that you are just doing it. Oh God, where is my daily bread? Apostle say when you dance your way and you are dancing, and God is saying, please stop dancing. Don't make me a fool. I'm not an idol. I'm not a cow somewhere that they lifted up. I am God all by myself. Let your gratitude be genuine. That you say, Lord, I know in this process there is a blessing. But whether or not there is a blessing, I thank you. Say, I will be thankful. Be thankful to God and be thankful to men. Some of us, we close the door of favor by ourselves because of ingratitude. Please take this issue of gratitude seriously. Jesus healed 10 people. He was passing and healed 10 people. He stayed there waiting to see who will come back. The 10 people were healed and they ran away. And one person said, mm -mm. We were supposed to die there unclean. But this one that God has done, this one will return. And he said, were there not ten of you? Where are the others? Take out time. If you can cry for problems, you should take out time to be lavish about thanksgiving. As a lifestyle, not just when it comes as an instruction here. Praise God and thank him. I live my own life saying thank you Jesus Lord I am grateful not because of what he has done Lord I am grateful thank you for the workers thank you for my life thank you for your word all through this year second Chronicles 20 verse 22 you can just write that as the scripture there they began to sing and to thank the Lord and to say for he is good and his mercy endureth forever and God began to set ambushment we have emphasized this that praise is powerful but it must be from the heart that's what makes it perfected praise ordained praise there is praise that is anointed it's called perfected praise there is praise that is rubbish it's just it's just selfishness in one minute while you are seated can you tell god thank you let's just take a minute or two to say thank you Thank you, Jesus. Some of you entered 2000. You entered 2018 grumbling. Someone died 
December 31st, but you enter 2018 grumbling as if the power is your own. Abba, let's be grateful. Some of you, you have been grateful but not enough to match the goodness of God in your life. Don't act as if it's a right. Thank you, Jesus. Learn gratitude to God and to men. Be lavish about gratitude. Take note of things that people do for you that you cannot do for yourself. Be very meticulous about it. Say, I'm not that kind of person. Learn it. You will close all kinds of doors being ungrateful. You can earn a living through gratitude. You can literally live off gratitude. Gratitude is a stream of income. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Lord, you gave me a relationship and work out. Thank him. At least he gave you one. At least a guy was able to come into your life. Lord, I thank you. I have not built the house yet, but you gave me land. I thank you. Lord, I have not graduated yet, but at least I am still a student. Thank you. We live in a society of gross ingratitude. just take a minute and say thank you how about some of you who have seen the anointing in your life in unusual ways two years ago you were not like this but look what God has done in your life mighty dimensions of revelation mighty dimensions of the anointing now they invite you everywhere to be a blessing men have discerned the hand of God upon your life it's a reason to say thank you don't just say I'm a man of God don't just say I'm a woman of God. Don't just say I'm a prayer warrior. How about people that God changed their financial status? No connection, no godfather, no godmother. I'm showing you why many of us do not see the signs of God in our lives. When you thank God, it looks like it's a burden to you. Jesus, thank you. How many graduates thank God? They complain about no job. They run their mouth from morning till night. Oh God, won't you give me a job? Have you ever carried your certificate to put it on the ground and roll over it and say, Lord, thank you. I wrote jam 10 times. It's, it's, a, it's a dream today that without any sponsor, I may graduate. We live in a generation that complains. Lord, I have a church of only 30 members. But you have people who have discerned your grace and they are listening to you. Lord, I don't have a job. Won't you change my story? You've not got a job for one year and you've not begged. Who has been the supplier of that? There are workers who have been on strike. There are workers whose salaries have not been paid for six months. In other states, some one year. Yet God has sustained them. And they don't have any other extra stream of income. It's been the Lord's doing. Make sure it is marvelous in your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. These three keys are the keys that God gave me. That if we will focus on being intimate with Him and believe Him enough to release our faith, and to back it up with a life that is full of praise and thanksgiving then brothers and sisters you are ready to see the outstretched arm of god his strange wonders in the midst of people there are battles this year that you will not need to fight mm -mm. this is i believe with all my heart that this is one of those years that the lord will say uh -uh, this battle is not your own allow me the egyptians you see today they are greater than you you have already done your own battle by worshiping me leave me to fight them that god will take you out of the battlefront and stand there and ask the enemy that has oppressed your family face me now you they may not have the strength in themselves let me give you 11 instructions for this year and then we'll round up please write down these instructions and believe them you don't have anything to write type it in your phone
men prosper in the kingdom on the strength of instructions he says my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from you keep them in the midst of your heart then he says they are life to those who find them men rise in this kingdom through instructions transgressors are violators of instructions number one very quickly in this year 2018 make up your mind to love and seek the lord passionately instruction number one love and seek the lord passionately i beg you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god prioritize god in your life this year prioritize god some of you i congratulate you at least you are better than the way you used to be but you need to do more you need to move closer to god pray for me oh as you are going to church no love and seek the lord passionately number two serve the lord this year wholeheartedly serve the lord wholeheartedly you are a worker in this ministry this is the time for you to pour your heart doesn't matter what department you are not a worker in this ministry find a department and commit yourself commit yourself serve the lord exodus 23 verse 25 exodus 23 i'm just running the instructions but i just felt like giving you a scripture of this it says if they obey and serve me if you shall obey and serve the lord your god he shall do what bless thy bread and ye shall serve the lord your god and he shall bless your bread and your water and i will take sickness away from the midst of you when you read 26 let's read 26 it says that there shall nothing cast a young nor be barren in the land the number of your days i will fulfill serve god wholeheartedly genuinely genuinely coming to church is not serving god walking in the house of god is serving god number three be passionate and intentional about bringing men to jesus be passionate and intentional about bringing men to Jesus Daniel chapter 12 and verse 3 be passionate and intentional about bringing men to Jesus read it with me one to read and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament uh-huh and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore brothers and sisters your heart must be passionate about bringing people to jesus bringing people to jesus is more than just winning souls you are going to church you don't go alone are we together there's someone in your neighborhood after evangelizing to him another person will come while you are talking say somebody has come say it doesn't matter i can continue from where he stopped let your life bring somebody to jesus someone sits down and he tells you look at the way my life is i say well uh, there's prayer meeting koinonia on tuesday once in a while you can go no that's not evangelism that's suggestion evangelism is my brother Jesus Christ is able to help you look at what he made out of my life and you talk to the person and at the end of it you ask the person do you mind that I pray and lead you to Jesus Christ some of you as I'm saying it you are even shocked because you have not said this thing in years it's not part of your dictionary a profitable believer is one who brings harvest of souls an establishment of the same leave people and drag yourself you are coming for miracle service you are coming alone 
your entire loved ones are languishing in in trouble be be a true evangelist do the work of an evangelist you know a woman around your neighborhood she has been barren madam please i don't have transport no problem i will pay your transport that's evangelism hallelujah let's be serious about leading men to jesus can i tell you the truth all that we do in this life will end one day i hear what i'm saying anybody that leaves this earth without nobody goes to hell for sinning everybody goes to hell for rejecting jesus that is what takes people to hell it is not sin that takes people to hell it is they are rejecting jesus the propitiation the substitute so don't sit down some of us our wives are not saved our husbands are not saved this is the year to vet everyone's salvation start with your household don't sit down and say it doesn't matter when i hear that someone has gone to be with the lord the first thing i ask is did he die in christ if he died in christ i just say ah then the only thing we are going to miss is just the physical fellowship but brothers and sisters let me be sincere with you if you die without christ you will never 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 be connected to jesus again as far as the bible reveals to us it matters that we make sure people we give people business deals wonderful we give them jobs i want you to preach oh. use everything use your looks to preach hello use your credit to preach use your life don't say me i'm not a woman of god i will keep sowing in koinonia please the urgency the church of the lord jesus christ is gradually fading in the area of conscious evangelism i know we make altar calls in church but that personal life we pray for people we intercede for people but we watch people they are not born again we don't care we call it being friendly start with those under your roof especially for those of us who have any form of influence nobody should be under my roof and not serve my god no sir don't say we don't want to offend anybody it doesn't mean you just meet somebody especially a non-christian and start harassing them no you can start by showing them the love of god it doesn't have to be one day preaching intercede for your loved ones many people drop prayer requests here car house wife husband they never write the names of souls and say father by next miracle service let this my father meet jesus number four remain joyful and thankful fourth instruction quickly we have 11 of them remain joyful and thankful this is the year that you should never allow anything kill your joy not bad reports not anything make up your mind to be joyful regardless of what happens remain joyful don't allow your joy to be perturbed by circumstances remain unbending in your joy get up in the morning you sing praises unto god lord i love you while you are doing that immediately you get an alert the interview went and were sorry to announce to you that you didn't get the job lord is all right i know that this is painful but i thank you the admission list first list came out i even saw in my dream that i got admission now physically there's no admission and then you are you cry because you are a human being jesus wept but in the midst of the cry find a song of merriment number number what be strong in faith fifth instruction be strong in faith reject fear reject fear write it be strong in faith dash reject fear the fear of evil report the fear of death the fear of not having a man to marry you the fear of not having a woman to marry you 
hello it's amazing how people walk with all these kinds of fear brothers the fear of not being established rejected sisters the fear of marrying a poor man or some of these nonsense fears that lead people to do demonic things reject it the fear of your church remaining at the same level no. the fear of being destroyed the bible says and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime in subject i know that all around the nation and around africa there are all kinds of upheavals happening reject fear reject fear reject fear for God has not given me and you the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Please reject fear. Be strong in faith. Number six. This year, 2018, be visionary and focused. Get serious with your life. It's an instruction. Write it down. Be visionary and focused for God's sake. Get serious with your life. Let this be the year that children become adults. Let this be the year that naive people grow up in their minds. Brothers, let this be the year that childishness is replaced with a life of diligence and discipline and maturity. My Bible says when I was a child, I thought like a child many of us have are still calling ourselves children give yourself an orientation this year i will no longer behave like a child brothers sisters everybody behave is that true especially for those trusting god to settle down this year your life must show you are ready hello hold on mike your life must show you are what ready don't call into your life blessings you have not been equipped to receive and maintain. Don't call into your life blessings you are not ready to equip and maintain. Sister, if you are saying 2018 is my year of marital settlement, please do the needful. Be disciplined. Jumping around comes to an end. Hopping around people's houses to gossip comes to an end. Why? You are preparing to be a good wife. Don't see a child fall and you walk and you are trying to cut walk. No, you are acting like a girlfriend. You act like a wife. Correct? Don't worry, we have a series. Oh, I mean, you are in for a buffet this year. Praise the Lord. And our brothers too. Balance. Balance balance i love god but i'm suffering balance this is the year we will access wisdom from the throne to do well in all things balance praying in tongues and you are not doing anything about taking care of your family there are many brothers that are not ready to settle down being old in age is not the requirement for settling down it is the ability to understand the cost implication of life hallelujah so you have to be visionary and focused go and get a notebook there are some of us get more than a notebook get a room get a room get out of your friend's room and find your room trust god for grace release your faith gather some money and get a room of your own where will i get mattress start with a bed sheet on the ground learn the honor of diligence all this waiting for a job to bail you out is the thing that sponsors carelessness. The power of God is released when you get out. Get out! There are young people that should pack out of their parents' house this year. And there are parents that should call the young people and say, Look, um, I had the message apostle preached and I love you with all my heart. I love you too much to leave you in this house. Go. Ah, Daddy, what if I die? Go and die there. Go. I'm, 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 I'm serious. I'm not joking. Then certain levels of decorum will come. Then once it is seven, you will go back home. You are learning to be a good father. It's because there is a friend whose room you are staying and they are cooking for you. That's why you can return back home 11 o'clock with no reason. You are, that is already an atmosphere for unfaithfulness. 
you have a room you learn maintenance you can lock your room the day you forget and they steal your rechargeable you have learned you have learned responsibility through the things you have suffered and that is a good lesson because now it will help you to be serious there are too many children old children believing that just because age is going they are wise we have to sit down say i will be focused in the name of jesus so be visionary be focused you are a pastor settle down what has god called me to do not i'm an apostle today i'm an evangelist tomorrow i think briefly prophetic came on me what what are you to the body settle down you are a businessman what do you do i do everything no sir you will fail be focused be focused get a clear direction for your life lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me you can't do everything ladies calm down settle down this is the direction my life is taking oh i'm going to be serious oh this is what i'm going to do with my life i'm a graduate now i've not am i working or am i doing business or am i doing both okay what am i doing i need to be focused i need to buy a book and be serious oh i notice that every time money comes i waste it with friends we don't drink we don't smoke but we waste money it's still sin are we together right now when money comes i notice i'm a worker in koinonia instead of wasting money let me buy one suit and now start looking like a gentleman the day your glory comes you don't have the attire for it number seven in this year 2018 spend time building your spirit man and your mind spend time invest in fact that's really the word invest time building your spirit man and your mind buy clothes look good but brothers and sisters only buy clothes and look good when your spirit is alive and your mind is alive packaging without content should live your life this year all this spending hilarious money to buy things and prove things that are not in your spirit and not in your mind make sure that a life a fake life leaves you this year build your spirit man as a woman build your spirit man as a man build your spirit man through prayers the study of the word and relevant materials let me tell you where many of us have stopped prayers and bible bible is not the word it contains the word there are other materials that contain the word explained to be relevant to your future don't just carry a bible and read any part of it and think you are growing no you need books that explain things to you get books get videos some of you may need to budget for a laptop this year you don't have a television yet budget for a laptop you can sell two or three of your shoes and buy a laptop shoes that don't bring anything let's let's be serious invest in your spirit let me tell you what will happen many people who are used to packaging will laugh at you but i guarantee you your spirit and your mind like power twins will return everything you are paying for now a thousand times number what number eight pay attention to your health and your physical well-being please write it down when god gave me this word i repented a thousand times before god before even jotting it down pay attention to your health and your physical well-being you can pay attention to your spirit pay attention to your mind and the body that will keep them here you are careless with it that means you are ready to exist so pay attention to your health paying attention to your health is not buying hilariously expensive creams that are beyond your power now that's not paying attention to your health you can start at whatever level you have you are now instead of buying all kinds of things you can buy fruits natural things correct yes instead of taking five coca-cola in a day 
buy carrots, buy apple, watermelon, meet the welfare after the service for any information that can help you on your health. Let's, let's walk as if we want to live long. Exercise. Truly speaking, exercise. God challenged me on these things and I will tell you as he did for me. Exercise. Take advantage of your life, your health. Work on it. Believers are careless with their health. We allow all kinds of sicknesses come. You are feeling sharp pains around your body. I'm a man of faith. But what is wrong with looking at someone and say, oh, there's a sharp pain? No, just to verify, okay, this and that. Oh, we notice, wow. Um, we found out that there's something there. Okay, so this is what the enemy wants to put in my body. Let's work together. But many believers will go on and be talking things that can be managed at infancy. Now later gets to a complicated case and they deny men of God sleep with disturbance because of something that wisdom could manage. Please take your health seriously. You know when you are sick, God gave us brains. You know your body before and during sickness. Something is wrong. Deal with it. Take care of your body. Take care of your health. Number, number nine. Press for financial freedom. Press for financial freedom. Pay attention to the details that will empower you. I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, do not allow anybody trivialize to your life the relevance of being financially free. If it is God you want to serve, you want to have time for God, your family and your destiny, press for financial freedom. We have a lot of teachings on that wise that will come this year. There already are teachings. Get financial dominion. Get the wealthy place. Other auxiliary teachings, success systems, the gift of men, activating seasons of favor, activating seasons of breakthrough. Settle down with it. I understand the media is working on a dedicated web page to arrange some of the sermons topically so that it's easy. They make it easy. If you are looking for topics on finances, there are all the messages there. So you can download them. Believers. Poverty will distract us from living a fruitful life. I repeat, poverty will distract us. Lack will distract us. Living from hand to mouth will never allow us to grow spiritually and live a life of health and soundness. Depression is eating up Christians, tongue-talking Christians, because they have to worry about where tea and bread will come from. By the grace of God, God has empowered us as leaders in this ministry with enough intelligence to be able to contribute and bring supply. I am a balanced man of God. I don't believe in people getting anointed and healing the sick and remaining poor. Why choose when everything is, the, is in the same table? It is the life of God. Please and please, especially our dear brothers, let us trust God to press towards financial freedom don't say i'm too young don't say god will make a way just like a callous irresponsible statement let's settle down and trust god to work our salvation financially speaking in fear and trembling you don't work out your finances by hustling this is the year when hustlers will pay for it doing everything in the strength of the flesh no thou shalt hear a voice from behind the secret to financial prosperity is not business. I've told you, the secret to financial prosperity is not a job. The secret to financial prosperity is understanding. Understanding. That is the first thing you seek. Understanding first. Getting a job and doing business is giving your understanding a physical expression to now deliver the results. There are many people doing business, getting jobs with no understanding. We live in an economy that many of us do not understand God's financial system. And we are paying for it dearly. Please press for financial freedom this year. Start with the teachings. Listen to them again and again. 
the work has been done for many of us if you pay attention to koinonia's teachings on finances if that's the only thing you study alone i guarantee you you'll be successful number 10 walk in love and be at peace with all men walk in love and be at peace with all men brothers and sisters this is the year when all black books must be turned into pieces say amen, amen. the the books that we have allowed the devil to give us all this compendium of enemies all this attitude of cynicism love and peace is therapeutic this should be the year for intentional reconciliation it will be costly to spend your life and your time being at loggerheads with people be having love and peace will require you learning how to speak to men with honor there are many auxiliary additions to it it does not mean that you just live in love and peace there are some of us your current mindset does not have provision for peace because the way you communicate is pungent and destructive we must learn to culture our words through understanding it is part of the press for living a life walking in love and peace with all men don't look down on anybody don't criticize anybody and say your father is this you people are poor you people are rich you are this tribe you are that tribe uh -uh. i am your senior in secondary school you are my junior in have mutual respect one for another don't be the one receiving all the respect and having people bowing to you and you're not reciprocating living in love and peace will require you learning people's skills understanding the psychological composition of living with people don't run somebody down and tear somebody down and think it does not matter you look at a lady and insult her lambast her from head to toe and then expect that she would not be at loggerheads jealousy what of gossiping hopping from place to place to talk about people bringing into your discussion matters of people that are not your concern all these things must be well edited this year so that we can live in love and peace and then mark people mark their areas of vulnerability and create a system to relate with them without being harmed by their vulnerability there are people who will never stop gossiping so you learn when best to see them greet them in church don't go to their house because it's obvious that going to their house is going to create a platform for gossiping let the meeting place be church and church alone are we together finally love the body of christ the last instruction i will give you for this year genuinely love the body of christ never criticize never castigate any man of god never castigate any ministry don't join bloggers to tear down men of god doesn't mean that men of god and ministries are perfect we all are not perfect but then you cannot sow that seed of being the one to be destroying a man's destiny and a man's church a man's ministry whether it was your former church your present church your former pastor your present pastor koinonia any church a church in nigeria a church in diaspora it doesn't matter where always see the light in the church in spite of the weakness of the body christ is still in the midst of her let this be the year there is a sin that many believers are committing it's called the sin of fighting against the body if nobody has told you is sin i want you to know that it is sin fighting the body of christ through ill-spoken words fighting a man's church fighting a man's whatever getting down intentionally to destroy the work of god because of poor and pungent communications is sin And it's a very strange kind of sin because it brings almost instant consequences for this cause many are weak for this cause many are sick and for this cause many do sleep what is their sin not discerning the body hallelujah ladies and gentlemen 
God has announced to us that this is a year of signs and wonders. I believe it. And I know that you believe it. And we are going to pray and speak this into our lives. There are many developments that have happened in the ministry. I'm going to be announcing them shortly. But then I want us to rise up on our feet now. And we are going to pray this prophetic word into our lives. You have heard the word. You have heard the instructions that have come from the word. I want you to open your notebook. I'm going to give you five minutes. Open your notebook and pray these 11 instructions into your life. Forget about the signs and wonders. It will be the result of this. Open the notebooks one by one and look at it and cry to the God of heaven. Go ahead and pray. Pray it. Pray it into your life. Pray it into your life. Don't be silent, brothers and sisters. Pray it into your life. I receive grace to love and seek the Lord. Intimacy. Intimacy with God. Intimacy with God. I receive grace for intimacy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I obey and I serve Him. I obey and I serve Him. I obey and I serve Him. Pray those 11 things into your heart. Be childlike enough and pray them. And watch the God of heaven arise for you. You have five minutes prophesy them into your life. Lord, I obtain the grace. I obtain the grace. I obtain the grace. I am intentional about bringing men to Jesus. I am intentional about bringing men to Jesus. I decree and declare that this year I am visionary. I am focused. I am visionary. I am focused. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I spend time building my spirit man. Go ahead and pray. I spend time building my mind. I pay attention to my health. I pay attention to my physical well-being. I shall not die. I live long. And I do the things that make for long life. In the name of Jesus, I pay attention to my health. I press for financial freedom. I reject poverty. I reject lack. I reject financial weakness. In the name of Jesus, God has made all grace abound to me so that I have in all sufficiency in all things that I am bound unto all good works. In the name of Jesus, I decree. The Bible says, declare that he might be justified. Declare it in prayer. I walk in love. I'm at peace with all men. No enmity. No jealousy. No backbiting. No tearing down another. In the name of Jesus. This is the year when my life will lift everyone up. This is the year when my words will lift everyone up. No destroying the destinies of men. I love the body of Christ in the name of Jesus I love the body of Christ I am part of the body of Christ I honor the body of Christ hallelujah your hands I just want you to focus on the screen those of you outside in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again no power will hide right now one two three go 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 come out come out of them Hey, 
devils, yokes, bondages, by the fire. Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And miracles everywhere. I say right now. And right now. Miracles. The power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. As you shout that name, Jesus. No instruments. At the count of three, no instruments. Just shout that name, Jesus. And the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Sheketekete, rekotopos, embrebekete, lekotosoparia. The fire of God is coming down right now. Mightily, shekete, mekotosota. Take a priestaba, some bread, take it, take it, bring them out. Take it, take it, take it, take it, break it, take it, take it, break it. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Separate, man, break both so protos, a great legos. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, protos so paka. Ma prateko sopai empreto stipali ala baba baba baba. Se se kete baba 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 baba. Se proto sopre kete bala baba. Hallelujah. This roll lift your hands. The angel of the Lord is standing in this room. I pray right now. Every activity of witchcraft. According to what the Lord is showing me. Those in this room. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I want you to shout. Jesus right now. One, two, go. Let it be shaken, oh God. Now, 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 and the fire break chains I command every force of darkness go, go, go come out right now come out right now come out right now be exposed come out right now come out right now Shepakata, shepakata, 
There are still many people outside. Please, outside, lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside. At the top of your voice, after the count of three, many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you. My God, let no spirit, let no spirit remain right now. One, two, three. All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there By the blood I bring a separation I bring a separation By the blood now Now, 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 now. I bring a separation By the blood By the blood the the Bring the lady. Reshekete bakata gata bakata. Zeko pakata barianda susakata. Ara sheru zakarota hate. Hapekete bokoto payata ha. Pekete bokoto. Baria shakarota ta. Hapata. Iya ya. Ela bakos. Parota pekete pekete boya. Eye ye. Eye ye. Iga boya. Pekete boya. Bring her here. Patekebosha. Arosakata, Zekota Boba, Pompania Tosa, Arosia Katuka, Pompale, Pompale, Soriato, Akata, Praki, Patapata, Suatebria, 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 Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve 
is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her. For the light shines in the darkness. Let her go now. You know my voice. Out. Now, leave her. Out. Never return again. Now, all the devils here. At the count of three. Your exit. Come you hear my so voice pa, I speak so to you pa, from the realm of the spirit so pa, One, two, so go, 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 out, 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 you must go by the power of the Holy Ghost, go, 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 be free, I set you free, let her go now leave this little girl out devil of darkness out come out of her now come out of her come out 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 Marital delay. Give me a hand. With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. 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 Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take over. Out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. This serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. Hallelujah. Listen. Some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? 
bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay, it will die now at once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. All right, then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I challenge you. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Go! Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibroid. I cause that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O oh God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandekara. You can't move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place, at the count of three, I command the devils be gone right now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. I cause delay. I cause delay. I cause delay. Every kind of delay. Every kind of delay. Where is the woman? I, where is the woman I spoke about? One mama that was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is... This is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Edu. 
At those state. Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh, uh, now hold on. Why you, I want to? It's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Ah, huh? the Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when find you... myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Madam, look at me. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? Is you are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain. At, used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do. Check. I was already healed. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They have been calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain. Why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything we touch with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some me church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image, or just say different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the king. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into a university. Have you written jam? No, not You are yet. writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate, you will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam whether for you or for your loved ones i tell you the truth and i lie not see listen prophecy every power 
that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above your name. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your admission. Where, listen, whether you know what you are writing or not, may my God hold your hands. That hand, that hand, mene, 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 Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Zigo paradia sacranda baliketi supalutikada. Likoto pradia saganda ria tagadabaya. Parada shi amakrundi siza la paradiata. Zigo shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me. No. Shila. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit by the power of the blood. Go now. Don't waste our time here. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne on high and throne on high and throne. Let me worship us. Be thou and throne. Marriage. We are going to visit the issue of marriage right now. Please, I want you to listen. I'm just flowing as the Holy Ghost is giving me grace. Sister, look at me. Just look at my eyes. You must release her right now. It's time for you to go. Out you go. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. 
and all I want you to do is just to shout amen all the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name in the name that is above all names I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost please get said something mighty will happen in this place now every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim right now as you shout Jesus they will depart from you now one two go every marital delay go 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 let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you may your life partner come into your life I prophesy I call for your life partner supernatural marriage hallelujah hallelujah a lady has been healed of chest condition outside check yourself and run out here check it looks like ulcer you just feel something leave you please check and run quickly quickly come and let God seal your miracle the Lord just minister to me please check check hallelujah I'm about to pray for the sick right now every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus God has killed a lady a lady is that the lady another one come come you've been healed when God speaks to one he speaks to many look at just one prophetic word give them the mic is it working what happened to you just tell us quickly I just felt a pain leave my chest. You felt something leave you. Yeah. Do what you couldn't do before. I felt pain in my chest. Completely. Hold my hands. Never returns. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go forever. Come, what happened to you now? I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How long? For I'm how long? Drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs even in, is even in my bag right now. The drugs, you go and bring yes. it. Talk to her what happened please tell us a sharp pain left me a sharp pain right now just disappeared come on are you celebrating jesus look at the drugs these are the drugs you take in the name that is above all names hold the drugs just hold it hold it look at me lord in the name of jesus christ you are perfecting her she will not need these drugs again in the name of jesus christ check yourself god is healing more people with this kind of pain if it's happening to you come out right now come out god is healing people ulcers ulcers are going right now okay she's been healed god bless you is perfected in jesus name talk to me i've been having this pain of chest. please make sure you don't tell lies for the past two years now for the I've past two years now I've been two years chest pain. chest pain yes sir. Anytime okay i try to breathe it will when you try me. to breathe it to hold you to hook me uh -huh. sometimes i'll be crying praying my mom said that it is over but i've been going to hospital to collect drugs but i told my mom i couldn't i can't take any drugs again but i believe that god will heal me one day one time what happened right now when you said that we should check and when you prayed i felt that i felt that something is out of me and now i'm healed breathe do breathe in deep any pain no, any sir. pain no sir. just keep breathing the power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, all right? I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six months. Six months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again in the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this um, peptic ulcer since 2006. Since 2006? Yes, and recently... Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure? Confirmed? Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we are outside and we shouted Jesus, I felt... You felt something. Yes, that so wicked said, thing that has sat there, he must pack his load and leave this night. I felt Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle, run out here. Even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem. But it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command. Eyes be healed. Be healed. Now, be healed. Be healed. Every blind eye open. Every blind eye open. Partial blindness be gone. In the name of Jesus, long-sightedness, short-sightedness, glaucoma, every eye condition, be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourself. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth, in any part of your body what's wrong with him eye problem bring him god is healing people look at look at a miracle look at a big miracle look at look at this look at this look at what is happening to these people look at eyes are opening come on give jesus praise eyes are opening receive your miracle receive your miracle every kind of eye condition Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's, his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? There's... I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? His mom. We came together. With him. Mama? Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your... No, no, let, let him lay his hands on you. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he couldn't cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankong Kata local government. So I had you, this you came program. all the way from Zankwa. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Jesus healed his eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus bow to the name of Jesus I command his eyes to open right now open right now please check him test him see, test him test him just test him if you've seen anything can you say don't be afraid this is a factory just test him sister stand up what is it eh? you saw light what are you seeing oh my god look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged 
Huh? Can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light I saw and it went. You saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So Father I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up. Alright? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again. Yes, a sharp light. You've been in my using glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a Who half knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay. You all know. who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now, roommate. When we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her, so that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in you my eyes. A sharp I, light. I, I, I fell down. And then you fell under the yes. anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until is, you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are all those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine. For the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Who brought this boy? Okay. How are you? Faster. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone? Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay. What happened to you? As Please was, make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as, as I fell down and I'm coming. Now I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then can't later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought, eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. <laughs> you mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? He's, he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to itch you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? <laughs> to the shame of the devil. Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. Praise God. I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over when there. When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I... And it's gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this. I don't know, every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me what and today like yeah or something? today i was in class and my i was we were reading my friend was not asking me what's wrong with me i'm reading the word i'm mixing the word i like it started since this year 
And she's like, okay, I need glasses. I'm like, I don't need glasses. Oh, when you are reading, yes. the, you will be skipping yes, the I'll words. Yes, I'll skip the words. I'll go blank and I don't know why. What happened to you now? When we were praying, I laid my hands on my, and my, hands on my eye and then a light just just hit me and my hands touched Light again, you see the light? my eyes got very hot and then Your I eyes got open. hot yes. and you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51, just verse 1 and 2. Let's and see. came to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hand, and to the whole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and, blessed him, and, I and increased, increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. Okay. It started in 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's, I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness so in your eyes. So when I went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly pterygium. That is, I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is, um, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went... I went time what happened right now? So, but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? Mm. What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own? My sister brought you. Oh, your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? Your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eye. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh huh. I, I saw that the thing has gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, so my eyes sometimes just to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But since that day, my mother and I never went. So sometimes I'll, my eye will, will be itching me. I was okay. like start, start feeling sleepy. But now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially... If you came here from outside Zaria, please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly please help them protocol ushers direct them please let's save time inside and outside if you are sick whether you are outside zaria or not just come please come out now is the time for you to be healed thank you jesus for your healing power those of us who are seated begin to pray in tongues please My don't be distracted he can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now whatever it is please keep coming quickly come and line, line yourself as you come just be praying and say lord this is it i am parting with this sickness From the rain, say, My God, heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weakened, forever He will reign. 
my God is awesome. My God is awesome. Check yourself. Begin to check yourself. Let's pace them very quickly. Hallelujah. As I pray for you, please, I want you to believe. I already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands. And as I pray for you, you'll be healed. You'll be delivered. No matter what it is, please, don't go back the same. You don't have to go back the same. You do not have to go back the same. No matter what the issue is, I want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now. Thank you, Jesus. Please go ahead. Lord, I give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ.
What's wrong with him? He has what? What's the wait? Hold on. What's the issue? Yes, with my bike. And the leg broke. Wait! You don't try to lift him. This guy had an accident. Look at me. Since when? I think a week ago now. You can't walk. The the nurse bandaged my leg. Then what happened? I started. I couldn't walk very well again, so I removed the bandage. Why did you remove the bandage? Because pulse was going out. Pulse was going out of the leg. Yes. Where is it? Ah, goodness. Look at this. Look at me, brother. Yes, sir. Look at me. He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. He's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody is seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fixed this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't. Don't. Just do what you couldn't do. See, he's surprised. He's shocked looking at his leg. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what. Hold on. See the guy. What is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying up. You are feeling it now. Yes. Everybody, clear the way for him. Rush. Go and come back. Walk. Go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy. Could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with you. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise. For that which you are doing in our midst this leg dries up in the name of jesus christ my god is awesome he can move mountains keep me in the
Which of them? The right. You've never been able to use it? No, except with age. Except? It's an age. Try to move it. I can move it. Just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it. Yeah? Just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Short. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come.
Just please. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy, be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Liver, Lord, she's totally free. You are the great and mighty God, so greatly to be praised, beautiful for all. You are the joy of the whole world. The the you world. are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. Please bring the request. You quick, are quick, the joy of the whole world. Time. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please so usher us quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, right? You one, quickly. The joy of the whole
Is anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on, fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah. Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every Miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship. Just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues. Is that okay? Please go ahead. Shekata ba 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 ba. You do wonders in me. Shekata ba 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 kata ba. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, O oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O oh God, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O oh God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverances, O God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
Sara praki jali mazata la broki jili bana zata ya. Rika lu jali kra zata ta pata shitaba. A God of all flesh jara pakata shilia. Le zari ka pata sha we declare. La zata pata sha. The one that parted the Red Sea. Raka pata shitalaba. Ribi zuri brani ne kocho shitalaba. Do the impossible right now. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. You break upon the rings and you part it into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the requests of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare. That with this request, oh God, let, the, let there be possibility right now. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. Miracles. Open doors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on her chest. Out now. release her and go now hallelujah and he said to me prophesy and I prophesied as I was commanded not as I wanted I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound a rattling sound and bones began to be joined to bones and he said unto me son of man prophesy to the four winds and i prophesied O wind breathe upon the slain and the wind came and breathed upon the slain and there stood an exceeding great army i want to prophesy over your life I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father, because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let Scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. 
So as someone said, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And God, he meditates day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever be. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel. As well as like us, hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on course at any time, it's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I'm not singing, just concentrate. My God, would you step in? And do the impossible, do the impossible, change the unchangeable, change the unchangeable, my God, stay. Do the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names, the name that causes demons to tremble, the name that causes breakthrough and deliverance I command right now let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost restoration now restoration now restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost receive restoration everything you have lost for whatever reason it was lost I command restoration of opportunities in the name of Jesus restoration of destiny help us restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now 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 In the book of Job, he says, In six things will he deliver you, yea, in seven things. And one of them is the scourging tongues of men. When men sit down and make enchantment in the name of the God that I serve, every cause, every pronouncement over your life. Because now, because now, because now, because now. Then the bradi shala kabaro sada na balabadi. For he has broken the gates of brass 
and he has cut the iron in sunder. My God, I pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names. If God be in this place, I command those two leaf gates be open now. Be open now. I prophesy be open now. By the power of prophecy, be open now. Everyone called jobless in this place. In the name that is above every other name. Satele Kabande Kretisaka. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they brought Mephibosheth, a man who was not qualified, but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God, wherever you need favor for jobs, I prophesy, receive it now. Receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west. I command jobs. Every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward, may his prophecy come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to break that power that limits men. Every limitation, every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come. I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus. Limitations be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. I command break records. Break records. Set new records. Do what has not been done. I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted. The Bible says, Withhold not good from who, him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name that is above all names we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the lord come alive now Dead relationships come alive now. I pray for your academics. For he has given me the tongue of the learned that I may know how to speak the word in due season to him that is weary. He said, my tongue is the pen of the, right, the ready writer. My heart has indicted a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. Daniel was made ten times better. He said, I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say. That when you stand before them, you shall not think of what to say. For in that very hour it will be the spirit of your father speaking. I pray everyone called doll. I change that testimony now. Everyone on probation. We take you out of it now. We take you out of it now. Everyone on probation. We take you out of it now. every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord to go to every department every faculty 
let justice be done in the name of Jesus. And everyone that has vowed that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of jesus christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted i speak to every job here receive increase i speak to every business here grow i command you to grow i speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of jesus christ Let the favor of God that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers, I prophesy, may that mantle of favor hit you where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, may that favor hit you where you are. In the name of Jesus, may that favor hit you where you are. May that favor change you. May it cause men to bless you. hallelujah and i pray may the presence of god go with you everywhere you go everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of god pornography masturbation whatever it is it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ Every dead spiritual life. Every dead prayer life. Every dead word study life. In the name that is above all names. Come alive now. Receive the fire for prayer. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. The fire for prayer. Take it. The spirit of prayer and supplication. Take it. Let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of Jesus. Grace to pray. Grace to study. Grace to understand. Hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise i pray the bible says the gift of a man makes room i pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried i prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head when I cry for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. My head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing.
there are people here tonight who are saying I'm tired of my life I'm tired of living my life the way I want I need to surrender my life to a God that is higher and greater than me some of you are probably giving your heart to the Lord please listen but tonight Jesus is calling you may have a Christian name that's not the same as salvation you may even be a pastor that's not the same as salvation tonight the Lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely I'm going to make an altar call just one to five I want you to run from outside from inside please run like your life depends on it you are saying Lord I am tired take it take it it is yours and I'm giving it back to you I am tired of living life my own way I have done my best I relinquish that whole one please rush quickly celebrate them as they come Two. Uh -huh. just come as you stand here just begin to pray and say Lord take over take over that's the song God bless you you are saying Lord I surrender everything I've been living my life the way I want but tonight, I'm in business with you. Four, please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family member stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friend stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, Take everything, take over. Everything I'm tired of living my life my own way. I give to you with holding nothing. With holding nothing. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you for coming. Don't make this an emotional decision. Mean it from the depths of your heart. No matter what you have done wrong, no matter how you've lived your life. I want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from Emmanuel's veins and that fountain flows to bless you it flows to wash you it flows to cleanse you lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart please you are not reciting a poem this is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight hallelujah say after me Lord Jesus I come before you unable to help myself I ask you to help me cleanse me wash me with your precious blood I truly repent of my sins in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today no backsliding some of you as you are praying this I tell you the power of the devil will be broken all of the chains you're going to say Satan I denounce you right now take your hands and live my life I declare that I'm saved I'm a child of God the Lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory I cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life from today I'm sold out and totally surrendered now keep your hands lifted father bless these ones you have brought them use them mightily let the power of sin be broken in their lives let the power of the grave be broken let the power of the flesh be broken anoint them and use them mightily oh God let this not be an emotional decision let this be a genuine decision in the name of Jesus make mighty men out of them 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. I want you to look at me. I congratulate you for this great decision. Everyone here made this decision at one point. Now, I'd like you to just follow our ushers. There's a wonderful sister waving her hand. I want you to just follow them. They'll have, they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow. God bless you. Please follow them. Follow them very quickly. Please. All those worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time here at Koinonia, we love you. Please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing. God bless you. If this is your first time, wherever you are, just run and come. There is a special blessing for you. Don't wait for your neighbor. You are the first person. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Thank you. Thank you for coming. We celebrate you. We honor you. We thank you. Keep coming. Don't stop. We have a prayer for you and we have a blessing. And all those who took the pain to invite anybody here, may God invite all the blessings you need in your life. I'm very serious. I'm not just saying it. If anyone came here as a result of your invitation, I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia. We love you. We bless you. I believe you are blessed tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy upon their lives, Koinonia. Bless them. We speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with prosperity. We bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit. We bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding. We bless you with grace. We bless you with the power of the Holy Spirit. May you experience the life of God in a new dimension. May God plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for coming. We love you. We're always here Fridays. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Please, you follow the ushers. They'll have your details. They'll welcome you more on our behalf. And you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you for coming. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.